China, an underdog in the space world, has made a big splash. They've launched the first ever rocket powered by methane into Earth's orbit. What's more interesting is that they achieved this feat even before SpaceX's second attempt with their Starship rocket. This impressive feat warrants a deeper look into the secret sauce that allowed China to sprint ahead in this global contest. A Chinese private rocket organization, Landspace, achieved a global precedent on July 12th. They managed to put a methane-fueled rocket, the Jukui-2, into orbit. Launched from the Guchan Satellite Launch Center, a military-operated establishment in the Gobi Desert, it ascended to an orbital altitude of approximately 453 kilometers at a velocity of 7.6 kilometers per second. The success of the mission was openly acknowledged by Landspace, Jukui-2, is the world's premier liquid oxygen methane rocket to successfully enter orbit. Additionally, it is the first launch vehicle in domestic civil and commercial aerospace to reach orbit using a self-developed liquid engine. Prior to this, Landspace had used a solid fuel rocket design, Jukui-1, which included technology from China's military ballistic missile fleet. However, after Jukui-1's first unsuccessful launch in 2018, Landspace pivoted towards the larger Jukui-2. Jukui-2 is considerably smaller than other methane rockets being developed in the United States, standing at around 50 meters in height, with a diameter of 3.35 meters and a weight of 216 tons. The Jukui-2 operates in two stages to reach space, with each stage having its own engines. The first stage, which operates during the initial launch and ascent, is powered by four TQ-12 engines. These engines use a mixture of liquid oxygen and methane as their fuel, a departure from the traditional kerosene-based fuels often used in rocketry. Each engine generates an impressive thrust of 67 tons, about the same amount of force needed to lift an entire space shuttle. After the first stage completes its job and detaches, the second stage takes over to push the rocket further into space. This stage uses a specialized TQ-12 engine that has been optimized for operating in the vacuum of space. This engine can generate a thrust of 80 tons, equivalent to lifting six large Tyrannosaurus rex dinosaurs. It also includes a smaller TQ-11 engine that adds an additional eight tons of thrust, which is about the same as lifting an African elephant. The successful launch has propelled China's space program to a new era, taking a significant stride towards developing rockets capable of refueling and reusability. This accomplishment has situated China as a leader in the race for liquid methane oxygen rocket technology. However, it's crucial to remember that this isn't the sole effort in launching methane-fueled rockets. Relativity Space's Terran-1 rocket faced failure at the beginning of 2023. Meanwhile, SpaceX, the world's largest private commercial company, has been conducting tests of its massive Starship and super-heavy booster spacecraft. Still, their missions have been delayed due to issues with the rockets. Despite the Jukui-2's landmark achievement of reaching orbit on methane fuel, it's essential to underscore the substantial groundwork that SpaceX has laid down. SpaceX's Starship is one of the most advanced spacecraft currently being developed. At a towering height of approximately 120 meters when combined with its super-heavy booster, Starship significantly surpasses the size of Juk-2. Starship's sheer volume allows it to carry up to 100 passengers or large quantities of cargo, which is unmatched by any other spacecraft in development. Further reinforcing Starship's superiority is its ambitious and broad mission scope. SpaceX sees Starship as the cornerstone of its future space exploration plans, from ferrying humans and cargo to the International Space Station, to more audacious objectives, such as enabling human colonization of Mars and even facilitating long-distance travel to other planets in our solar system. Additionally, the development of Starship has seen an array of rigorous testing phases, including high-altitude flight tests and static fire engine tests. These tests are critical to the development process, pushing the spacecraft's limits and providing invaluable data to help SpaceX engineers optimize Starship's design and performance. Furthermore, SpaceX has broader influence in the aerospace field. Under the leadership of visionary entrepreneur Musk, SpaceX has revolutionized space travel with its reusable rockets. 
United Launch Alliance is developing Vulcan, a next-generation launch system that partially employs methane. The Vulcan rocket represents a significant upgrade from its predecessor, aiming for more efficient launches and better environmental compatibility. Rocket Lab's Neutron is another notable entrant in this shift towards methane fuel. Neutron is designed as a medium-lift vehicle, aimed at delivering payloads to a variety of orbits and even interplanetary missions, underscoring Rocket Lab's expansion into larger satellite launch services. Meanwhile, Blue Origin, backed by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, is also developing the New Glenn rocket, a reusable heavy-lift launch vehicle that uses liquefied natural gas primarily composed of methane for its propulsion. So why is this shift towards methane happening? Traditionally, rockets have predominantly used kerosene, hydrogen, or hydrazine as fuel sources. These fuels have served the industry well, but methane offers several advantages that make it an attractive option for modern rockets, especially those designed for reusability. Firstly, methane is cleaner burning than kerosene, reducing the soot buildup in rocket engines, which is vital for rockets that are meant to be used multiple times. Secondly, methane is readily available and can even be manufactured on Mars, making it a feasible fuel choice for future Mars missions and colonies. Lastly, methane-based fuel systems can be made to be more efficient than their kerosene-based counterparts, potentially leading to cost savings in the long run. In 2021, China conducted 55 orbital launches, nearly doubling the number of launches by SpaceX and four times more than the total number of launches in the United States. However, in the following year, China fell behind due to SpaceX's dominance. It's no exaggeration to say that China perceives SpaceX as its biggest competitor in the space race. China has also made significant strides in space station technology. In 2022, they completed their space station, Tiangong. Although much smaller than the ISS and only consisting of three modules, China has built and operated all the different components, making them the sole operator of the station. However, they recognize the need for international cooperation if they hope to match the ISS's scientific findings. In a report published in August of 2022, the Pentagon predicted that China could surpass U.S. capabilities in space as early as 2045. This time frame is crucial as both the United States and China have plans to send humans to the moon. China has a campaign for this called the International Lunar Research Station. Their primary objective is to construct a fully functional research base on the moon by the 2030 ES. The roadmap to achieve this goal includes a series of five planned missions using their upcoming Long March 9th Super Heavy rockets. Despite the strides China has made, they still have a long journey ahead to compete with or surpass SpaceX. However, with their impressive developments, they will undoubtedly continue to pose a formidable challenge to the U.S. and other global leaders in the space industry. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.